بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Good afternoon friends Today is Friday as usual I'm doing right now Triple cam Canon R With Canon 85mm And Canon 80D With Sigma 35mm Plus Sony A7 II With Sony 35mm Grafojo Studio Manhattan Welcome to my studio For many, photography is a hobby, but some want to take their hobby to a whole new level. They want to earn money and become a photographer. They want to be their own boss as a professional. Starting a photography business is not easy, and it will not happen every night. You have to be realistic and work hard, but if you want it, a photography career can be life changing. ده انت كمان رقبتك اتعوج يا ترى لا والله انا Professional tips on how to become a photographer going. Professional may seem like a big jump. And becoming 
a professional photographer can be daunting. So many people have their own cameras now. Is there still a need for professional photographers? While it may seem daunting, it is possible to pursue a photography career, not only when there a high demand for a professional photographer, but you can also earn a handsome salary in photography. You need to know how to get the most out of the camera. You need to understand exposure, this field and light and uh, that fundamental photography should be second nature to you. You could arrive at your first professional shot and the conditions may not be what you expected. It wasn't look professional. If you look through your camera manual or research something on set, perhaps you have a college diploma or university degree in the photography, or maybe this is something you would like to do. It can be a handy advantage, but it's not essential to become a photographer. The internet has become a value resource when it comes to photography. A quick search can provide you with information and tutorials. Whether it is something basic or more advanced, you can find it and expert photography is a great place to start.
Most people use speed lights by attaching them to their cameras at short. But you also have the option to trigger them wirelessly, especially in studio city. Number one, the speed lights. Years ago, people had to buy a remote, such as a pocket wizard, to activate flash remotely. But these days, you can buy flash gun that have you built-in triggers. Just make sure the ones you buy have a wireless feature because not every speed light has it. The most obvious drawback of using speed lights is that you can't see the light they Im emit in real time. So you have to do a lot of test shots to make sure they're eliminating your subject probably. This flash unit also does not have enough power to light up large spaces, but as long as you are aware of what they can and cannot do, they are still a great option, especially if you are on a budget.